I'm John Breslin, co-author of Old Ireland and Colour Tree with Dr. Sarah Ann Buckley. Today I'm going to work through some of the photographic gems that we've uncovered for this, our third volume in the best-selling Old Ireland and Colour series, tell you a little bit about the stories and uh, the people in those photographs. And the first one I'm going to look at is this picture just inside the front cover of Ginny or Jane Burton. And this picture was taken in 1863 in Shinrone, County Offaly. And um, she was actually in her 80s here. We know from her um, records, uh, her birth, marriage and death records. Well, the death records show that she was uh, in her mid 80s when she died a few years later. So we know that she was born in the 18th century, somewhere around 1780. So again, well before the 1798 rebellion, she would have lived through the black years um, from 1845 onwards. Um, it's a fascinating picture of, of Ginny or Jane in her paisley shawl. And I think what's also interesting is that up, to, up until this point when the picture was restored and colorized, this was probably the only picture of, of Ginny, um, which came from an old photo album, which I found online. This isn't the original, in case you're wondering why if my finger's all over it, it's a copy. Um, but you can see that the picture existed in just a couple of centimeters by a couple of centimeters up to this point in time. There's some damage on it, it's fading. Um, but thankfully there was some information about Ginny and her family, which we were able to find more information um, about her and her life from that. So that's the first picture. The second one I want to show you is a picture of Maud Gon um, in her Paris apartment in a place called Passy. And you can see Maud here with her dog. The dog is a, a Great Dane whose name is Rory. And uh, also interestingly in this picture, in the background you can see a painting and a few years ago, that painting was put up for auction in uh, Bonhams, I think. It was actually a gift given to Maud Gan by her lover, Lucien Millefoy, and it was in the family for many years. So I was able to use the colors of that painting when it was auctioned. It's um, Venus and Cupid by a French painter to actually apply those colors to this colorization. Next picture is from 1925 or 1926 of three girls in Drogheda, a lovely photograph taken by Clifton Royal Adams. And uh, the last one I'm going to show you is this fascinating picture, which is uh, what was called post-mortem photography, where people took photographs with their loved ones after they died. So they basically posed the person in a particular um, lifelike setting and took, took pictures with them. And you can just see the, the face um, on the woman here as she looks at her, probably her, her departed mother. So there are a couple of the pictures from our new Old Ireland Colour Tree. It's available now to buy in Eason's bookstores and online at eason's.com.